Hi guys, what's up? Today we're going to looking at another bag from 5.11 here. Um, new store opened up right in the area. And this is the Moab 6, or the Rush Moab 6 to be exact, from 5.11. So let's get into it and figure out what this bag is and what it looks like and how it ticks. And we'll take a look. Alright. So here is kind of the front side of the Moab 10. So this is a pretty uh, small bag here. Um, but it comes with, it kind of works with that rush tier system that they have. Um, so you can kind of strap this to a smaller 511 bag as well. Um, so this is just a really overview. I haven't used this bag yet. As you can see, all the tags and everything are still on it. Um, FYI, this is the 511 patch of the month that you can get in stores. You can see it right there. All right, so on first glance, it's kind of a nice bag. It's got Molly on the front, a little bit of Velcro right there, of course. Um, again, looking at the size of it, um, we'll kind of expand it a little bit. You can see it expands pretty nicely. Um, it is a sling bag, as you can see here. Um, and I've already kind of tried it on, and it is kind of comfortable. Um, it does have another little pocket right here as well with another thing of Velcro. All right, so let's take a look. So on the front pocket here, um, this would be the admin section of the bag. So in here you have the very typical um, pockets and everything that they have for 511 in here. Um, so you have one big one across the top, two pencils or pens or whatever else you want to fit in there. You could probably put four across in there to be honest. Um, another little pocket right there, it goes to the bottom, another one here, and another kind of one size one right here. Um, and then on the flap that opens up this part here, you also have one here that goes the length and one here that goes the length as well. Um, it's also worth mentioning, I usually don't use them so I always forget about them. There's also key rings on both sides, one here and one there. Um, so not too bad. I'm looking at one more pocket in which is the concealed carry or as they're calling it, the CCW ready area right there. All right, so if you open up that, which just kind of pulls apart, you can hear the Velcro tear. And in there, goes to the very bottom of the bag, you can fit a few different items in there, of course. If, of course, if you're packing heat, it can also go in there. Um, but you can also fit almost a, uh, it's probably a good sized cell phone or some other tablet in there, a small tablet would fit in there as well. All right, moving on to the next section of the bag here, which has dual zippers. You can see it opens up to a nice area here. You'll see this thing here. This is for another pocket that's back here, which is for sunglasses. This is felt lined. I'll show you guys that in a minute. And this right here, you kind of have this like cinch area where you can kind of elastic it closed a little bit. It's okay. Um, again, I don't know what I'm going to use this bag for yet, but there's quite a lot of room in there. Spinning it around. There you go. You'll see the top here. We have this little mesh bag at the top. It's kind of small. Um, probably fits some small things. Maybe just a single charger with some cords. Um, fit nicely in there in my personal opinion. We'll see when I actually use the bag. Um, and then down here again you get another wider pocket here. Again it kind of <clears throat> just doesn't seem wide enough for most things. But again I don't know. I never used a small bag like this. Um, we'll see how it works out. Um, but otherwise it's kind of a nice pocket. And you get a lot of different organization on here. Closing that part of the bag up and moving along back here. So this one's going to be hard to see um, and it's still tagged right here. You can see it right there. Um, but if you open up that right there on the back of the bag and it's this one here, I don't know if it's just the bag I have um, or in general, it always gets snagged right here so it doesn't open up smoothly. Um, but uh, there's an eyeglass area right here so you can put your sunglasses or whatever right there and keep them protected. Um, the only thing I always have a problem with 5.11, if I load up the inside and this little flaps in there and I put my nice expensive sunglasses in there and they don't fold flat like Ray-Bans, I feel like they're going to get crushed or broke. So I don't really care for this pocket style that they do on the back here like this with sunglasses. But to each their own, you might find it handy and it is there for your glasses or any other valuable you don't want it scratched up. It just kind of felt like. And of course, on the strap itself, I showed you this already, but I'll show it to you again. There's a little pouch here, which has some uh, elastic in there as well to kind of hold whatever you're putting in there down. Now, also, if you move the strap out of the way, 
you'll see in the very back here, there's this pad right here. Well, that, of course, opens up as well. You can see it's hydration ready, and you can put that there. And that's really meant for a hydration pack. And in there, you'll also find the straps. As again, I haven't used this yet. You'll find the straps so you can attach it to another 511 bag. So you can kind of daisy chain it to it, if you will. We'll take that out real quick so we can take a look inside this. This pocket's pretty deep, goes all the way to the bottom. Um, of course, you gotta watch the size of hydration bladder you get to fit in there. Um, I don't think any of the ones I have on in stock right now would actually fit in here, but just to let you know. And that's all there is to this bag. So um, one, one more quick try on, I'll show you what it looks like on me. But again, this is the Rush Moab 6. I keep calling it the 10 sometimes. And you can kind of see all the features right there in this pamphlet. All right. And this is what it looks like on, as you guys can see. It kind of has that strap. It doesn't really dig in to my uh, neck here like the other sling bag from 511 did. Um, as you guys can see, it looks kind of nice. It works pretty well, I think. Um, <clears throat> the one only one thing I have that probably doesn't work sometimes when you pull it around, this sometimes does whack me right here. Um, but other than that, it seems to pull around just fine so you can get at all your goodies right here. Now, the only problem is, of course, positioning of the zippers and making sure that they're positioned so that you can get into certain of these pockets if you needed to whenever you pulled it around you. So, like these here being the key ones right here, you want to make sure you position those over here so that when you pull it around to get to something, you can get into your bag like this. Or again, for those CCW carriers, you know, you can open up that and get to that. So again, my name is Fearless Leader B. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. Um, comment if you want to see any other different 511 bags. Um, and again, anything you guys need, just let me know. I'll see you guys in the next video.